and welcome to my review of the Stoves Dishwasher, model number INTDW60. This dishwasher is fully integrated, so it's hidden behind a door. Not fully yet, because we've not actually had chance doing the review for AO. Um, but here we go. Here's your control panel, nicely concealed along the top edge, the digital display. To start off with, here's your on button. That was just me switching it on and off. And here's your control panel. Make sure your door is open when you try and switch it on because you'll find it doesn't actually work, which took us a while to fathom out. I'm just going to show you the actual programs. There's nine programs to choose from, which is really good. But if I just zoom in so you can see what actual programs they are, I think that'll actually be very helpful. Don't know if you can see that. So you've got an all in one program, an auto program, an intensive, normal, eco, glass, a 90 minute program, a rapid program which is fantastic, and a soak. So if you just want to pre soak them before washing them later on in the day. Hopefully that should give you a lot of information just by seeing that. Otherwise I'll be talking forever and boring everybody. Right, back to the actual dishwasher. So to put your program on, you actually press the P. You can see with the light shining off. There we go, look. And if you see, if I can get the light right, is that better maybe? Nope. There we go. If you keep clicking that, that'll show you the different displays, so that's now on glass. Get you a bit closer so you can see. So this is going through the same, it's a list of programs that actually I've just zoomed in and showed you. If we go to alternative, which I think is really good, you can actually just switch on the top of the dishwasher or the bottom of the dishwasher. So wherever these are lit up, so at the minute it's on both. That would just be doing things in the top drawer, now the bottom drawer, which I think is a really good function. Here we have, so if you want to delay the timer, you press that on, so it's delayed one hour, two hours, etc. I'll just whiz through them to get it back to normal, so it goes up to 24 hours options so like i was saying the option button actually gives the option if you see the end lights this gives you an express wash or if you click it again that means it's a longer drying time that's added onto your wash again both useful things i'm just going to actually switch this off because i don't want it to start just while i show you inside Okay, I'm hope hoping you can see that. Right, if we go down to here, this is where we're putting your wash detergents. So you've got your rinse aid that goes in here. So you literally open that and fill up your rinse, line, rinse aid to the maximum. And you can adjust how much rinse aid goes onto your things. Because if, I don't know if you can see that, can you see the numbers inside? That's telling you how much rinse aid to put, you've got going into the machine. It's got a display thing here that tells you when you're running low. So if it's black it means it's full. If we just click this, so you can put in your detergent powder in this one or if you'd prefer a tablet in this one. I tend to use tablets just for sheer easiness. Right and I'll talk you through this. So easily pull out drawers apologize if it gets blurred at all. So you basically stack your plates up here or however you'd choose to really. Um, there's some clever little gadgets though so if you've got like pans if I can do it you can just flop them down. So if you've got all your big dishes, casserole dishes, pans, things like that that's now allowing more space for them. And you've still got place for some, space for some plates here. 
So I'm really impressed with that. My last dishwasher didn't have that. Here's a top drawer. This is my, I tend to mainly use for dishes and cups. It's actually got, these are quite cool as well, extra cup holders here. So you can, for a standard size coffee cup, you could put a cup underneath and then you could sit a cup on the top. If you decide you don't want to use them, you just pull them up and hook them on the side. She says. There we go. And then it's out of the way. The drawer is adjustable. So if you've got bigger things to put in, you can take the drawer out. You can see on the side there's different wheels. I'm not going to do it because I'll probably drop the phone trying. But you take it out and then you change it to the different runner. So it'll higher or lower it. And then in my last dishwasher I had a drawer to put cutlery in, which I always thought was okay until I came across this one. And this one's got a tray, which I think is much, much better. They seem to wash a lot better. So you just lay your cutlery on top of your tray. Again, very cleverly, this can be changed in a lot of different ways just by raising that, I hope you can see. So if I slide that along in the runner, if there's anything big in the drawer, it's now allowing space for it. You can take that one out altogether, or you can literally adjust the way it goes. Again, with this one, there's a few different ways you can adjust it depending on what you're doing in there, which I think is very, very clever. Let's say they wash a lot better like that. And then I'll just show you at the bottom. I just take that out. Take that all together if it'll allow me. In here is where you put your salt. Easy done. It's full of salt as you can see. You need to put salt in there, a bit of water. It must be dishwasher salt though, or you will actually damage damage your dishwasher. And then here's your filters. There is actually arrows on there, so you just literally turn it and lift it out. Make sure these clean at least once a week for the full efficiency of your system. It starts getting clogged up, it's not going to be washing to its full capacity. Same with these, you can actually, once a week, it's advisable to give these a really good scrub. You can, again, you can take these off and give them a really good wash. And the same same with the top one. There's one right up the very top. So all in all, I think it's a really, really good dishwasher. I would say this dishwasher is perfect for probably a medium to large size family because there's 14 place settings. Um, but the fabulous thing is, it's A++ energy rating. So fabulous AO. Thank you very much for allowing me to review this.